Hello! In the first part of this tutorial, we saw how to install scripts and make them into tabs and how it, this is going to speed up your work. If you would like to watch it, click the link above or see the link in the description. And now let's continue with the second one, where I'm going to show you how to make some of the default options of 3ds Max into tabs and why and how this is going to save you time. Next I'll share with you my best tips for quicker work that will save you a huge amount of clicks without installing anything additional. My first suggestion is to make into a tab reset material editor slots and to put it over here as well. It normally stays here when you open the material editor by pressing M, going to utilities, reset material editor slots. I use it a lot because if you clean all of the materials from the scene that they are not used, you clean when they have textures, you clean here these textures and you decrease the size of the file as well. That's why I keep it here in the button so I can keep my files as low as possible. This also reduces the time to save uh, as well as the space on the hard drive. So I'll create a button, go to customize, customize user interface here all comments find reset material editor give it a name and just drag and drop it here add button appearance i'll call it reset mtl like material just press it, here, press it here, save your tabs so you can load in another scene if they're not working. Close and then open material editor and just by clicking here, it's been reset. So this saves you opening, going to here and clicking this one, this guy over here, just by pressing this one. You don't even need to open the material editor, it works. I'll show you. Let's I'll pick these guys here and then create this one like this. So I have few materials. Just by pressing this one, they are already reset. Okay. Yeah, sometimes happens like this. The next one, save incremental, is one of my favorite. This is making into a button, this save uh, option, file, save, oh, sorry, file, save as, and plus this one. If you want to add 0, 1, 0, 2, let's say this here, if you would like to add this option to your files just by one button over here, go to customize. Let's create a new tab. I'll call it save plus and find save incremental plus. Drag and drop it here. Add button appearance. I'll delete this one and leave it like this. Okay. And drag it here. Save again your tab. And when I press it here, I have uh, this name 02 with uh, prefix. When I press it, I have another one. And I, I press it, I have another one. This saves me going to here, going to here, and clicking this one. Just one click. Another one that I love is to make the merge into button. File, import, merge. This guy here. Just creating a new button. March. Find here under category all commons. Merge file, drag and drop. Place it here. And when I press it, it opens my file to for merging. 
this saves me going here finding which one was it import march and so on just by clicking march one button similar one that will save a few clicks is making save selected into a button when you press when you choose an object file and press save selected when you want to transfer object from one file to another or something like this you can just simply create a new button code save selected here find the option this here drag and drop press it here you can rename it shorter if you would like you can save your toolbars and then when you click just by one click you can save select and save your object not by finding them where this option was and clicking and then and forward as a final i would like to sh uh, share with you how to transfer all of these scripts and tabs from one computer to another for whatever reason you need it. Either you buy a new computer or you need to reinstall your Windows or something like this. Everything that you did here, you can just easily transfer it by going to your PC, in disk C, your user, users, your user, app data, local, Autodesk, 3ds Max. Uh, you need to select your version of the 3ds Max, and here is the end of folder. When you copy this folder from here to the, the other computer, everything will be set. Uh, everything that you install, all of the tabs, shortcuts, and quotes will be moved from this computer to the new one. Because if you enter here, you will see that everything that we already installed here, it's in those few uh, folders. User macros, scripts, and user icons, everything goes whatever they were programmed to go. And you just need to copy this folder <coughs> to the particular place on the computer. I hope that these scripts and tabs will increase your workflow, speed up your work. Uh, they work for me really good. If you want to share your thoughts or opinion about them, let us know in the comments. And by using all of them or some of them, you will definitely save few clicks or many clicks to save a lot of time and headaches. And you'll be able to uh, put this extra energy and clicks just by improving the composition textures and not by searching for a comment in the 3ds max if you enjoyed anything in the video then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does if you haven't subscribed yet click below and join us we have some great videos coming up that you don't want to miss thank you for watching and i see you in the next video